let's talk about the Gemini Man one because I thought that was yeah. uh, that was par- you did at Paramount Pictures, right? Yeah. So that was um, that was me and, and Annie Cash Bunny. We um, we were there at Paramount for it was like a test screening of the movie. Like it was the first time that the producers and the creators had like shown any part of the movie to audiences. Oh, wow. And they only they didn't even have the whole movie done. It was just like three segments that they had done that they just wanted to kind of show and get an idea of like what people. That. After that was done, Annie and I, we had about like 15 minutes, 20 minutes with Will to create whatever we wanted. We decided to do a promo for the movie. Actually, like they didn't, his team didn't ask us to do that. We didn't really have that much time to prep for it, but we knew, um, I think like the morning of like three hours before that is when we really started to figure out like what we wanted to do. We were on the phone in the morning and we were like, what do we do? And actually, one thing we talked about was when we first shot with Will at Coachella, which was, I think, five months earlier. Um, this obviously was all 2019. I think the original plan for that Coachella piece was to have more of him, like, talking to different Wills and, like, interacting. But it's just because of the time constraint that we had with him at Coachella, we just were not able to do that. Like, we only had, like, two minutes with them. We figured with 15 minutes, we, we could do something, you know, a little bit crazier. So... We kind of slowly, like, it was like piece by piece, we started building out what we wanted to do. And then we figured, like, the first few steps were like, we figured we want to promote the movie that he's coming out with. We would have a few of him. Then once we got to the venue is when we really started to, like, plan out what was going to happen. And then literally during the um, screening, Annie and I were, like, on our phones writing the script out, like, literally just 20 minutes before we were about to shoot with him. So we wrote out the script, wrote out the back and forth, all the actions. And then, like, as always, it was like 10 minutes, 15 minutes with them going over the idea of shooting. And then, like, we were kind of done with it. We've done that effect, the character duplication effect, so often that, like, and especially Will, again, like, he's such a, he knows everything. He's such a pro. Like, even the technical aspect of shooting visual effects, he's done it so many times that, like, even on this way smaller scale, he still understands it. So... He understood the general concept. As you said, like that was the third collaboration we'd done right. um, last year. So like they kind of trusted us to lead it and, and pull it off. Honestly, the biggest challenge was we were shooting like at Paramount like studio. So there was like a shit ton of people. So mm. a big thing was just making sure, especially with that type of effect, you need as clean of a background plate as possible. So just making sure that like the noise levels was good, that there was no one in our shot that was kind of the biggest challenge. Otherwise, again, like we've done that effect so many times and we've, we've been in that like super fast paced style of shooting so many times that we're kind of more used to like having to pitch an idea in 30 seconds and then go over script in like a minute and then shoot in like three minutes. Like that part we're used to. It was a 360 camera. It's cash bunny's 360 camera. I usually use the GoPro fusion, but I think she had the Insta one or like right. one of those versions. Yeah. All the movements were digital. So the fact that we had that we could pan as wide as we wanted, that was kind of why, why we went with it. I'm sure a fisheye probably could, or like a super wide angle could have been right. good. As always, Westbrook, Will Smith's team always is BTS. So we actually got one of their video guys that had a Rode microphone set up on the DSLR to just like record audio for us. Oh, wow. Um, we probably could have used the the built-in mic, but I think it was a little bit cleaner. Once we like compared, it was a bit cleaner to do the um, the road mic. And usually, the way um, Annie and I edit is we usually break stuff off. So like, I'll do a lot of the masking, and she'll do the camera moves, and like, I'll do cleanup, and then she'll do some of the like direct. Like, we kind of break it up based on what our skill sets are, and also what we enjoy doing. Like, I love to mask. And like rotoscope, it takes forever, but like it's just so easy for me to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all the camera moves, that was all her because she was very good at like getting it to look as realistic as possible and adding motion blur when needing. And like it's not just position moves, it's also sometimes adjusting the scale, adjusting the rotation. Mm-hmm. And we'll work on a project file, I'll send it to her. She works on that project file, saves it, sends it back to me, and we kind of go that way. We edited it for a week and then it was released, I think, three weeks later when they were really starting to push Gemini Man. Right. Um, and again, I think the reason we chose to promote the movie is we knew we wanted him to talk about something. I think that's where it started. Is like, ooh, he should talk with himself and like and interact with each other and this and that. But like, we were like, what do we? What like? What is he going to talk about though? Like, right. is he going to talk about all the movies he's been in? Or he can talk about how hot it is or like whatever? And then we realized 
it kind of just worked out well that like, okay, let's just have him talk about the movie and promote it. Thanks for listening to this clip. Make sure to listen to the full interview, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Hit the subscribe button for more highlights and join our Black Window Cream private community for creators. Links in the description.